Cup final is underway. Dennis Betts is the first of the Great Britain players to come back to the right for the boom of Delhi Fox. And a test for young Tim Brasher. He's lost the ball. That should be a penalty right in front for Great Britain. Well, the first test for Brasher and he's failed it. I saw him in a couple of the, uh, the tapes of the earlier games. He didn't, he didn't handle the bombs at all. On that occasion, a great little bomb from Derek Fox. Plenty of Great Britain charges there coming through. And uh, Brasher failed that one. This is a gift two points for the Great Britain side now. Great take this good set of five tackles there by the Great Britain side. Fox put it up. And uh, Brasher had a mile of time, but good pressure there by Joe Lydon. And Meninga was offside. And you can bet you like that might be the first time we see the ball put high for Tim Brasher. They've tested him out early. He's come up with a drop ball and it will be two points to Great Britain. Derek Fox, a very good kicker from that close in range. I would imagine that maybe Joe Lydon would take the longer kicks. But Fox, now with the Bradford club, has this responsibility. And a tremendous confidence boost for this team. They've come the whole length of the field. Australia haven't had the football and they will register first points. So the first two penalties of the final have gone to the home side. And Derek Fox from right in front raises the flags. Two points to nil in favour of Great Britain. And if can, Australia can slow down the English play the ball, I think that is an enormous advantage they go in with. There's a great ball from Lazarus to Steve Wallace. Picks up Langer. Langer takes it inside the 32, but Hanley brings him down with a great tackle. Meninga now. Fiddler. Inside ball for Linda. Linda's away. Eight metres out from the line. Right now Australia's turned to test their defence. Here's a penalty. Penalty of the Australians offside in the play of the ball. Wouldn't get off the, the tackle player. And the, this will be a shot for goal by Meninga. So Mal Meninga from right in front. Ten metres out. A very good opportunity to equalise. Great Britain leading 2-0, but now it's two points all. Two points all at Wembley in the final. 32 out from the line. Five gone. Fiddler. Chip and chase. Joe Lydon can't take it. Chance for Australia. Referee ruled that it was propelled forward. Bob Linder making the tackle. They let Mark no fire go and they pick up Kevin Ward. That's a better run from Kevin. Now the ball has been lost and he's given the penalty. Well, he gave a penalty. I don't think he actually saw what happened. He was looking actually towards the outside Australian backs. Is there Malcolm really there looking on, sending out instructions? Morris Lindsay, the chairman, sitting next to uh, next to him. And it looks going to be a shot for goal by Derek Fox. Uh, he's not noted for the, the length of his goal kicks. He's more he's a very accurate kicker from in close around the post. Uh, this could test the length of his kick still, oh, this one. He'll do well to not only kick this one, but to put it dead if he does miss. Fox is just outside the 40-metre line. He's almost in centre field. Two points all. He raised the flags after six minutes. In flight. He's having no trouble with distance. No Great Britain lead by four points to two. I notice it from the scrums, Peter. You can see that the blindside winger is actually on the open. They wouldn't want to win one against the feed. Uh, Great Britain, I'll just stroll down that blindside. Hancock picked up and driven into the ground by Connolly. Clyde. Uh, just looking at these flags, the breeze in the first half is behind Great Britain. How big an effect uh, as we pick up the play with Khan going down the sideline to the halfway, pulled down by the halves, Edwards and Fox. Need a quick play, the ball. I'll go wide straight away. Alan Langer looking to support. And he's picked up Steve Wallers on the inside. The Australian attack a little bit slow to link up with Langer there. They now do so off Fittler. Fittler turning it back for Sirenen. Sirenen looking to promote it. Tackled on the 32, this is the last. Langer, long ball for Linda. Shorter pass for Meninga. Puts it under the boot and looks to send the winger in there, but 
It was nicely taken by O'Fire. Yeah, not, not very positive play there by the Australians. The kick was a nothing kick, really. I thought Mal could have uh, turned Willie Khan back inside. There was a bit of space there, but in the end, O'Fire saved the day. There's a loose ball on the ground, and it's been ruled a knock on by Dennis Hale. Now it's come away from Linda. Long pass for Langer. Pushed on for Fittler. Turned inside Meninga. Ten metres out. Great Britain's defence, really stretched now. Penalty goes to Australia. They would like some flow in attack, the Australian teams, and that means that they'd probably prefer to do without those penalties. Now, Meninga is only about 10 metres off centre. 20 metres out. Strikes it. Gets the two points. We're back level again at four points all in the World Cup final. They'll probably put it through the hands here. Well, Henley was offside. Fiddler now dances away, turns it away and picked up by Clark. Connolly's with it. He's had a super game, Gary Connolly in the centres. Um, tricky situations for the Great Britain side with this good cover defence. Oh, That's got to be forward. Nice forward. He's given the penalty. You don't often see a penalty come from that infringement, but he's ruled that the ball was thrown deliberately forward. I think it was just a breakdown in communication there. Sirenan certainly wasn't expecting the football, and Walters looked up and saw the green jersey. Well, Ciro knew as soon as he got the ball, he knew he was, it was a forward pass. Well, here's the play of the ball, and there's no doubt that the ball was sent forward from Walters to Sirenan, so the penalty for Derek Fox, right in front, 30 metres out. Successful with both his attempts so far. Four points all. Nearing half-time. Derek Fox strikes it nicely. There's a further two points. Great Britain leading again by six points to four. Here's O'Fire coming in off the, the blind wing. Run off! Run off! Pull down magnificently there. Oh, yeah. Make no fire. Sean Edwards has got him with the best knee and has got 10 minutes for it. Ridiculous play from Edwards. He's leaving his side short now, but he too is lucky to stay on there. Threw the knee out after making the tackle, and it was a desperate tackle on Steve Renoff. There's a fire. Coming across, going low, Edwards high, gets to his feet. And we, well, we're taking the BBC pictures and I don't think they wanted to show Sean Edwards in a bad light. Again, some loose ball popped up by Australia. Meninga's gone to dummy half. Fittler wants it, he's got it. Walters is out wide, tries to dance over the 22 mark. Ball comes out the back again. He says play on, Fittler, Fittler tries to get a pass away but holds on. Walters, Lazarus on the blind side, Meninga goes towards the corner, flicks it out for Khan, Khan rubber kicks, he gets it down, no. but the referee calls it back. Well, I don't know if he's ruled a forward pass or a knock on there, it's one of them. Willie Khan, a lovely little piece of play there at the end of kick the ball in and regather, but all to no avail. You're kidding, I've had 10 quid on Willie Carter, 14 to 1 to score the first try, what's wrong with that? Well, let's have a look, we'll see what is wrong with it. Mal getting in the way oh. of Bobby, that's forward. I'll oh, turn it up to that try. That was forward, that was forward. Lazarus hits one up the centre. Oh, good run by Lazarus. Taking play up to the 22 line. They're finding holes everywhere now, the Australians. Langer away for Walters. Dummies on the run around. Just uh, 10 metres away from the line. Played by Steve Walters. It's with Brad Fittler. He grubber kicks and it's Hunt over there who rakes it over the dead ball line. This is the last. Fox puts up the bomb. Tim Brasher underneath it. I don't know that he's got the ball. Great take. Held up. He hasn't got it down. Well, Brasher's come up with the football. Won't get a better test in the fullback position at this level than that one. A, a perfectly weighted kick just in 
the try area. Derek Fox again. And they all fly high. Got up very high, the Great Britain player. I think he's ruled that he, in fact, had the football, Peter, because he's putting the scrum down 10 metres out. Well, all I know is Brasher came up with the football, and that was the important thing. See it there, yeah, the Great Britain player has got it. But the Great Britain defence has been equal to the task. They're coming up both sides now. Kevin Wilders delivers to Renner. Here comes the try. Renner. Renner scores. First and only try. He got outside. Devereaux. John Devereaux, the replacement centre. Beat him for speed, and this man has got plenty of that. 22 metres he travelled. A great ball here from Kevin Wilders. This is the pass that we saw Kevy develop as the year went on. He puts it on the outside shoulder of the player he's throwing it to. Renoff, Devereaux, very poor in defence there. He came up and took no one and allowed Renoff to get on the outside of him. There he was, completely out positioned uh, was Devereaux and Renoff, too much pace. Eight points to six now. Australia in front. First time in the match they've been in front. They've been level. But now Mal Meninga has a chance to send them to 10 points to six. The try came after 26 minutes of the second half. Meninga from the sideline. It doesn't look too bad. Flags are up. Meninga gets the goal. 10-6 Australia.